welcome here everyone. The only way to remove iOS 17 and uninstall back to iOS 16 involves losing your data, restoring an old iCloud backup, you can see the error on screen. If you modify a backup on your computer, restoring it will also put an error. You can restore data from iCloud, but not an iCloud backup. If you understand the risks, the first step, in the homepage of settings, you're going to tap on your name right here. You are then going to select Find My, and then you're going to see Find My iPad, and we will need to turn this off for the downgrade to work. You can turn back on Find My iPad after you've downgraded. Once this is off, let's move to the computer. If you have a Windows computer, you will need to head over to the iTunes website and you will need to download iTunes. iTunes is built into Macs. Next, we will need to head over to the IPSW.me and we need to select our iPad model. So I have the iPad Pro 11 inch, fourth generation. And if there's multiple options, doesn't matter, select which one you want. And here, under Signs, you should see iPadOS 16 and the green tick. If you don't, that means Apple has blocked downgrades back to iPadOS 16, and so you will need to stay on iPadOS 17. If it's available, we'll select it, and then we'll click on the Download button, and now the firmware will download. Once the firmware file has finished, we're going to search for and open the Finder app if we have a Mac and iTunes if we have a Windows. We are now going to connect our iPad to our computer. Once we have done this, you can see on my Mac it's showing this message. Just click on Not Now and then click on your iPad. If your iPad is not showing up, you will need to update to the latest version of macOS and on Windows, restart the computer. From here, it's asking to trust the connection. So we're gonna click on trust, and on the iPad itself, unlock the iPad, and then tap on the trust message. Once we've done this, we can see the software, and what we're gonna do is if we have a Mac, while holding down the option key, so keep option held down, and while it's held down, you're just gonna click Restore iPad. On Windows, you're going to hold down the Shift key and while holding down the Shift key, left click Restore. You're going to select the firmware file right here and then you're going to open the firmware file and we're going to click on the Restore. Now, if you did get an error saying the firmware file is incompatible, your iPad model is shown right here and you will need to get the correct firmware file. Keep your iPad connected and let's wait for the reset to finish. Once the reset has finished, you just want to set up your iPad as normal, but when it says apps and data, you will need to select don't transfer as you can't restore from iCloud backup. It will show the error you see and restoring PC backup won't work either. Now let's get started. And if we go to the about page of settings, you can see the downgrade was successful and I'm on iPadOS 16.5. With that being said, if you'd like to help support the channel, please do check the description. Bye bye.